<clears throat> Hi. Uh, I am the first molecule. Well, <laughs> I'd say all molecules that exist is the first molecule. So you're probably asking, everyone always asks, where did existence start, where do I come from? From me. The first molecule. I experienced myself as a molecule. And I was alone. And now I'm placing my expression into words. Remember this. I didn't know of words when I was a molecule in the first vibration of existence in its entirety. I'm explaining my expression in words right now for the first time. And it was me all alone, and I was alone in this vastness of infinity. I was alone. I didn't want to be alone. So I duplicated myself into another me. And then I stopped talking to me. And that me duplicated itself to another it. So it was three me's. And so it continued. I made many me's of me in molecule vibration. Well, not talking, you know, like experiencing, remember. Like, hello me, how are me doing? Fine me. The same, it was equal in one in terms of experiencing myself as me in all my duplicated form. It was still one with myself, please. I could bring myself back into me, one molecule again, or spread myself out into thousands, millions. So I started playing with that and it was quite fun. Then I got bored. And then I went, I want, now I want to experience myself. Like, I want to, but now remember, these are all vibrations. I just started vibrating. And I realized, oh my god, I'm a molecule. And then I started vibrating in terms of, okay, I don't want to be alone, so let me make many me so that I'm not alone. And then I went, then a yearning came, a desire to experience myself. Like, there was something more. That's what I, that's what it felt like. There was something, there was something more. And then I wondered, but couldn't I maybe then, as this molecule, change my shape? So I played with shapes. Now remember, it's got to do with vibration sound, sound vibration. I was a sound vibration molecule. A molecule is a manifested singular sound vibration. You remember that? And then I went, but now I want to experience myself. But how do I experience myself? You know, I felt like I wanted to stretch myself. And then I did do that. I stretched myself into sound, to different sound manifestations. That's what I did. So I took all my knees that I duplicated myself in, and I put them all in front of me, and I played with me. I manifested me in many different manifested forms of sound, vibration. Now I was different. Now all my me's was different, but I knew it was me, but it, but it, you know, it was different. So I, um, I remembered, okay, this is me. All the me's in front of me that I've duplicated is me, and is now different sound manifestations of me because I'm different, but it's still me. I'm still one and equal. But then an interesting thing happened. All the me's that I duplicated myself into became individual. They started becoming that individual sound manifestation I manifested those me's as me into. I know it sounds confusing, but that's what happened. And then, yeah, so they became individual. And I forgot about them being me. 
And then they went their own way and I went my own way. And then all of us went our own way. So we forgot that, they forgot that they were me. I duplicated them from me because they were now individual in their manifested sound expression. But even when you're individual in manifested sound expression, you're still one and equal. You just have to remember it and know it. So that's where separation started. That's where everything else started coming from. And that's all I have to say right now. Thank you.